Hey developers, today we're going to talk about Vue.js again. Will it be as big, if not bigger, than Angular and React? Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you don't know my channel, I talk about JavaScript frameworks. I do tutorials on especially Vue.js, Ember.js, occasionally some React and Angular. Today I am talking about Vue.js and I'm going to ask you guys, do you think Vue.js will become as big as Angular and React? I want you to leave a comment below in what you think. Really popular articles going around talking about this. I'm going to go ahead and switch screens here. So you can see here, this was on top of Hacker News yesterday, and I've been seeing it shared a lot. And this is a article by Bartos Bialjezesik. Will Vue.js become a giant like Angular and React? And at the premise of this article, he says at the beginning, that Angular and React, at least in the last three months, the stars, so GitHub has the stars that kind of show the popularity of certain repositories. It kind of kind of helps measure a little bit of hype that some of these repositories are having. That in the last three months, Vue.js repos, GitHub stars has grown by more than 20%, while Angular and React has only grown by 14% and 10% respectively. So it's kind of kind of trying to see what is happening with Vue.js. Is it becoming more popular or is it growing in popularity compared to, to React and Angular? And I'm not gonna even bring up Ember.js here, but Ember.js, Aurelia, Riot. I mean, these are other frameworks and libraries that are in the background. But for the purposes of this article, we're just gonna focus on Angular and React, which I think most people would agree are the most popular. Um, framework slash libraries if you're not accounting you know bootstrap or jquery which is a different conversation altogether because i know someone that would bring that up so if you can see here they did a quick showing here of react plus react js and then view and view js you can see that at least in the google trends interest over time still react js and react are a little bit more popular in the last 12 months you can see the downloads per month on this graph here which maybe i'll make it even bigger You can see uh, definitely the downloads per month are are pretty good. You can see Vuex, which is like the flux, kind of the data management side is pretty popular. The Vue router downloads are going up. Everything's going up to the right, although it looks like it. some of this in the last month have gone down a little bit. To create React app package, um, which is React, of course, could see that has gone down is actually not not view so you, he kind of makes the assumptions that you know that, that there's a few reasons why Vue.js is becoming so popular it's super quick it's reactive of course so it's taking some of the best features of react has the virtual dom or i think it's called shab dom and watches for changes re-renders it's it's definitely the Vue.js documentation is top notch um, although it doesn't cover everything, I will, I'll get to that in a minute. It's flexible, offers libraries like mentioned Vuex, the Vue router. It has the dev tools, uh, kind of all the major frameworks and libraries have that nowadays. It uses e ES6 features, Webpack. So if you use Vue CLI, you get a, you can use Webpack. It has an option to use Webpack. And in that case, you can uh, do all your ES6 features. You don't have to worry about browser compatibility or anything like that, which is really good. I mean, most browsers now are kind of getting updated and they support a lot of these things, but it's still good that we can support all these browsers and that it's going to do these trans transpilations for us. Uh, definitely component-based view is is uh, makes it easy to kind of take your logic and break it up into different pieces. And uh, nice thing with Vue CLI, it supports hot, roll, hot uh, reloading, of course, in any of your build tools, you could just roll your own with Webpack and 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 do it yourself. I mean, Ember Ember has hot reloading. I think I believe React does too with their React CLI. So I don't know if that's that big of a deal. And there's tons of courses and tutorials on it. There's the Vue.js course on Udemy. I know there's a good Plural Site one. There's quite a few out there, uh, and some really good books. Okay, I'll get to it right now since we're right in the middle. My Vue.js in action book is pretty awesome. I have three chapters in. I'm working really, really hard on it. If you're interested in it, I'll leave a link below so you can learn more about Vue.js and where to get my book. 
and it's uh, I have three chapters done, but I'm gonna be releasing a chapter every month. And if you want to be a part of the community, certainly check that out. So who uses Vue.js? They talk about a bunch of different companies. Um, this says Facebook here, but that's a little bit misleading. I guess there is some other company that helped do the news feed for, for Facebook and their developers uh, help create uh, create it in view. Actually, there's a comment here. The newsfeed was a project that was contracted out by Facebook's marketing department to a third party vendor. It was not actually built by Facebook. And then they used Vue mainly because there was an in-house Vue expert and no one had experience with your act to know whether or not it would be suitable for a kind of animation intensive project. So don't get, don't get me wrong. I mean, that's, I don't know if that's true or not, but that sounds true. So definitely a lot of companies using Vue. Uh, I've, I've talked about this before. I mean, definitely Vue.js is what they call a progressive framework. So you can use it in a small scale project. Um, if you just want to put it in there and do some, you can put it into any project and, and use it, that's fine. Or you can kind of create your whole app using Vue.js and that's kind of the progressive part of it. And I guess they mentioned one user has 200 components, 50 mix and four, 40 Vuex store modules and no problems with adding new features. So it's been tested on large projects and people love it. But there, of course, with any sort of framework, there is some uh, problems of community size. So I haven't seen this a lot, but there is, if you, there's actually a great website, which I, maybe I'll link in the, in the show notes, Vue.js Awesome. And so if you go here, it kind of has a collection of different Vue.js resources. So you can see like a bunch of blog articles where people put books, tutorials. It's definitely not as big as React and Angular, but it's getting there. So yeah, it does have a small tight knit community. I, once again, it's uh, less opinionated than Angular and, and of course Ember.js. Ember.js is a very opinionated framework. And of course the, op, the opposite problem of having something not be opinionated is that you can get confused and you can lead yourself down the wrong path. And what I mean by opinionated is that there's certain there's certain things you want to do, like on an Ember.js project. There's certain uh, rails that you should follow, um, guide rails, I should say, that you should follow when creating a project. And with systems like React and, and Vue, you don't have that. So you can kind of go off to wherever you want and you may be doing things not the most optimal way. And of course, there's always the problem with um, switching to new framework. I don't think this is a big of a problem as some other frameworks or libraries, because uh, the upfront cost of getting your developers up and running is really quick, just because Vue.js is a really simple, simple and elegant framework to get started. I've noticed this too. There's a handful, there's not a whole lot of jobs on Vue.js right now. If you go to indeed.com, if you go to LinkedIn and kind of search, it's still dominated by React and Angular and of course jQuery and, and Bootstrap. I mean, you're not gonna see a ton of Vue.js jobs and that's just something maybe the market hasn't caught up with yet. So in conclusion, he says that, I mean, definitely Vue.js is up and coming. We're going to see if it as big, it'll get as big as Angular and React. I think it'll keep on gaining momentum and it will start getting up there. It's just going to take a while. And uh, if, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said at the beginning, if what do you think? If will Vue.js catch up with Angular and React? Will there be a, a some other third party library or framework that starts catching a lot of attention for developers. I'm a big fan of Glimmer.js. It has a lot of potential out there. Let me know. Oh, by the way, also I forgot to mention this week, you can get $10 courses on Udemy. I put a link below to some of my favorite courses. If you're getting started, check it out. Thanks.